Good morning, good morning. What's up? How y'all feeling? Haven't had my coffee yet. Tired as hell. But, um, you know, you know how we do before we begin. I appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you think about today's topic and, um, you know, drop a comment. And um, I usually comment on it without bias. Uh, if you got any questions or whatever, I'd be glad to answer them. Or what have you. National Guard guy running around right there. Hey, so anyway, um, I wanted to talk about today all these symbolic gestures of statues being yanked down and confederate monuments being removed in the heat of everything that's going on today um you know the black lives matter movement which is which has been taken over by democrats by the way but that movement's going on you got the lbgt all those other letters that are together with the black lives movement because the black lives movement is basically just a ship to usher in all that other stuff, the transgender, but all, all that all that stuff. So what's happening basically is taking down all these statues and all these monuments, um, you know, all these fixtures or what have you, that symbolizes all this stuff. And to me, I'm looking at it, people are like so happy and elated about it because they think America's finally starting to admit they were wrong. But what people don't realize is these statues and these pages in history books are the only proof we really have that this stuff actually happened besides movies and all that and here's the thing about it the sad thing about it is i say seven generations in the future maybe ten generations in the future it's only going to be word of mouth word of mouth and movies that slavery actually happens going to be vanished from history books they've already started scrubbing history books out um, school history books, they're starting to call slavers, slaves workers, which is like a super finesse or a spin on actually what happened. So that's going to be an issue, and they're going to remove all the Confederate monuments and statues, which is basically other proof that the people, the people ain't in my mouth, the people who, uh, who basically ran the country at the time, or who basically were uh, pivotal for the white supremacy movement, these people's statues are being taken down, so like they won't even be able to look that stuff up. Who is this guy? There's no guy. What guy? You know? So basically at this point, whatever history book they print up with whatever history they put in it is law. Which is scary, yo, because it's like if nothing changes with black people being in a position they're in, 10 years in the future, they legitimately won't know why they're in that position they're in. Besides a rumor that might just be word of mouth passed down by grandfathers. But we all know how young people think about a lot of grandfathers that speak. Or a lot of old, older parents or older people. They just say, oh, he says a lot of stuff. Grandpa always saying something. Grandpa crazy. Grandpa this. Grandpa. And it's going to be basically like, hey, it's hearsay. There's not going to be any evidence to back it up. And that's the scary thing. You know? They're basically removing their sins from history. That is crazy to me. But nobody really sees it happening, man. And that's interesting to me. Like, it's right in front of my face, your face, our faces, and nobody's paying attention to it. Me, personally, they always say, hey, put it in a museum. I kind of agree with that sentiment. I kind of agree with that sentiment. But I have a very, very um, shallow doubt that they will put all those monuments in the museum. They're probably going to get rid of some of them, if not all of them. Just disappear them all together. If they do move them, next there'll be a, a debate to get them out of the fucking museum. And next thing you know, there's no history at all on that stuff. It's crazy, man. This is just insane, man. I don't know. Maybe it's just me thinking too hard, but I doubt it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about the video. Um, I'm going to hit you guys up probably for the next couple days with another one. Depending on what's going on, as usual. And this is a disclaimer, too. I see people got upset about my last video I did. If you're new to this channel, understand, I say what the hell I want. Nobody's paying me to say anything. So if you don't like a person that speaks freely on their opinion, you know, if you can't handle somebody's opinion being different from yours, this might not be the channel for you. With that said, y'all have a nice day. Peace out.